Hi, Roger. My name is Detective Bellrose. I understand you work with Chris Elworthy? Yeah, I work with Chris. He owes me $7. Roger, sunny person. What could you tell me about this Chris? Well, Chris was an odd fellow, to say the least. Whenever there was a blizzard, he would call in sick to go door to door soliciting people to shove their driveways and suck their dicks for money. God, I love hyperboles. An entrepreneur, so to speak. And I spoke. Yes, I did. Not in the least. You make on a good day forty dollars in a storm, or fifteen dollars in incognito. If you came into work, you'd pull in about seventy dollars after working an eight-hour shift. He's stupider than a deck of vases. Shifty one, hiya! Shifty one, hiya! What was his work ethic like? A professional, I hope. Chris was a food server. Basically, he'd prepare the dishes to look a certain way, but there were always problems with the meal. Uh, how so? Really, I, I'm curious. I didn't understand any of what you just said. People would get their food with side dishes missing. Young puppies on a plate, hot food being fed and throwing sticks to adult children. Whole bites would be taken out of the sandwiches that serve the people. Anarchy punching in. When you're a waiter, you don't always have time to check and make sure each plate is exactly as it should be. When garbage had to be done, Chris couldn't be found anywhere. I should know, I wrote the book. I'm Roger, y'all. Is there not a soul in town who could fire this poor poop magician? This manager, in an effort to get Chris out of, out of his hair, put him in overnight cleaning. Dust bunnies galore. That was a complete disaster. The next day I come into work and I see, I see, I'm sorry, I'm still a little hard. It's okay when we speak. Didn't your mother ever tell you that? I see the king of sex guys, stark naked, with she-worthy. I nickname everything I don't agree with. They were going all out in the middle of the restaurant, fucking the most sacred of wall decorations. I understand why you're upset. My word, my word, my word is disgust and smiling myself to a mini orgasm. Tell me about it. I wake up in cold sweat every night because of what I saw. Dude, I'm sorry, man. But you're a fucking wacko. They should send you a bouquet and shoot you. The worst part was, she worthy, looked just like him, with longer hair and smaller boobs. And dumber. She's like a fucking version of my worst insecurity. You smart like me? You know how to use a phone. Thank you for your time. If you remember anything, please feel free to call me on that phone I mentioned earlier.